Number 40. What beat frequencies result if a piano hammer hits three strings that emit frequencies of 127.8, 128.1, and 128.3 hertz? All right, so there's basically, you got to think of all the pairs. So let's call this one, two, and three, right? We can have a pair between one and two. We can have a pair between one and three. And we can have a pair between two and three. So whenever we calculate beat frequency, this is, a, this is just a... Uh, concept from chapter 16, right? So this should be review. So this is basically uh, the beat frequency is the second, fr you know, frequency two minus frequency one or frequency one minus two. It doesn't matter because it's the absolute value. So we just have to find the difference between all these pairs that I created. So uh, we're going to find it between 128.1 minus then, right, 127.8. And that beat frequency there should be simply point zero, uh, excuse me, point or zero point, uh, what is that? I'm sorry, I'm going cross side three, right? That's, and these are in terms of Hertz. So that's one, right? What would be the next one? So the next one would be the beat frequency would then be between uh, one and three. So three is 128.3 and this was 127.8. So it looks like the difference there is going to be zero, 0 0.5. Okay, great. And then last but not least, we got to do it between two and three. So the beat frequency there is going to be 128.3 minus then 128.1. Sorry, 128.1. And then when we simply do that, it's going to be 0 0.2. All right, Hertz. There you go, guys. Thanks again for tuning in. And we look forward to helping you with more problems. And subscribe if you can. Thank you.